Assalamu alaikum, my name is Muhammad Ali, also known as Eros Arabic, the guy responsible for the graffiti murals. Graffiti murals with a, with a message um, you may have seen in, in cities across the globe. I've been fortunate to have traveled and painted street murals on public street, street corners. I'm also speaking to you today as the kind of founder of the, the Hub Gallery, the Hub or the Hub Gallery, however you want to pronounce it, um, which is probably, I'd say, one of the first Muslim-led galleries of its kind, certainly here in the, in the UK. So this is something else I'm very excited about, which I'll speak to you about shortly. Um, but I've been asked by our brother, Peter Gold, um, to speak to you guys in Muslim, at Muslim Fest. I, I was fortunate two years ago to have partaken in the festival and painted uh, a mural. And mashallah, may Allah reward the brothers and sisters uh, responsible for Muslim Fest. Perhaps some of the experiences that I've been through as a visual artist or as an artist in general may be of uh, some inspiration, I hope. Um, but the seven or so years that I've been professionally working, perhaps some of the challenges and the struggles I've faced, I'm sure many are very familiar with, and one of them being financial stability, for example. Uh, I'm sure we all know that you know, it's not something we can kind of uh, uh, always have that regular income from. Uh, I've had to make a, that sacrifice from, alhamdulillah, from, from a stable profession. But to be honest with you, I would never go back. I don't think I could ever go back to working behind the desk nine to five, no matter what the salary was. So for me, alhamdulillah, it all started off really with <coughs> my career as a graphic designer for a computer games company. I was doing graphics for um, the games itself, making computer games. To, for me, this was a dream job. Ever, ever since I was a kid, this is what I wanted to do. But there came a point where I started to question that, you know, what is the purpose of, of this skill that Allah has blessed me with, that has given me this ability to be able to use color and composition to create visuals, to make computer games for kids, to turn them into zombies in front of television screens. I thought, no, 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 this, this, is, this is not what that this, this ability that I have, this is not what I, I should be using this for. And I became very disillusioned and, uh, and even in general I started thinking about art and what purpose can art serve in kind of developing society. You know, uh, I had friends who were doctors and you know, teachers and were traveling the world and teaching in impoverished parts of the world. And I thought, what can I do as an artist? How, what, how can I serve humanity and bring about change in the world? So alhamdulillah that this started to change when I started to create art with some kind of meaning, some kind of purpose to educate people, you know, to, to kind of sell proceeds of some of the paintings to, to, do, to build an orphanage, for example. So alhamdulillah for me this is a breath of fresh air that finally this was more than art for art's sake. This is art for, for the sake of mankind, for the sake of Allah. Inshallah, I hope and pray we can all remain committed to this movement. And I say a global movement because it's funny that how when I come to these kind of conventions and, and events, it's almost like it's a little, little re reunion, you know, it's, it's we're seeing the same faces and this little network of people, of kind of amazingly skilled people from filmmakers and photographers. And, you know, we, we as a kind of a small community of, of, of creatives with, with, with celebrating spirituality and our faith, it's actually quite a small movement. Um, that is inspiring people from all corners of the globe. I would hope that people at Muslim Fest this year would now have heard of the hub, the gallery. Some of you have been here, and our brother Dash and a few others have come past through, and we've had performances already here. But this is a space for you. Consider those of you across over there in the USA, Canada, and Australia. Consider this as a stopover for you. If ever you're coming through England or you want to come through England, consider Birmingham, which is England's second city. It's a very interesting city, by the way, a very vibrant community, a Muslim community, and very diverse. The Hub Gallery sits in the middle of this community. I set this space up as a means to really just take art to the people because we often see galleries like this perhaps in certain parts of town restricted to kind of, I guess, the more glitzy parts of town. Why can the arts not be in the heart of the community where the crime exists, where you know, community, community problems exist, uh, racism you know, and, and ignorance and all these other issues, all the problems that exist. We need to take art into those spaces and into those communities and deal with these problems head on. Um, so this is what we set up here, a little bit of a kind of retreat from what's out there on the streets. 
I think we as Muslim creatives have an important responsibility to the new generations, the whole new wave of people who are looking to express their faith, who are looking to find new means of kind of expressing their, themselves um, through poetry and through kind of the different mediums that are coming about through the visual arts. Um, and I see on my travels from Australia to Canada to the USA and here in the UK, I see kind of new generations of, of, of Muslims, young Muslims who are seeing different means of expressing themselves and, and not having to kind of almost suppress their faith because they see exciting ways of, of just expressing who they are amidst the kind of negative times that we live in where Islam is under the spotlight, you know, and all of this kind of, uh, you know, these, the controversies that exist. You know, Muslims are still kind of fighting against that, almost fighting against the grain and saying, I'm going to express who I am quite confidently and do that through the art that I do or the words that I write. So I think we should really harness this energy that exists with kind of Muslims expressing themselves create, through creatively. And we need to kind of, kind of n help kind of nurture that really. And what we're doing here at The Hub is, is trying to do just that, is trying to almost create this space you know, something that becomes talk of the town, something that people know there's a Muslim-led gallery where some really great art is coming from. And I've kind of learned this when I've traveled around and I've seen the great work that organizations like Iman do in Chicago. You know, I've seen how, you know, in Sydney when I went there, I saw how Al Ghazali Institute, those were respected kind of organizations who were doing work for the betterment of the wider society. That was inspiring for me to see how Muslims were kind of leading the way almost. Muslims were seen to be doing something which wasn't just for their own, it wasn't for their own community. It was something that was beneficial to everybody and it was like, you know, they were, they were kind of leading the way. Beautiful to see and I've kind of, I guess, taken and shared these ideas and try to bring something back for the, for the people uh, here in the UK. So Alhamdulillah, I think it's, ex it's exciting times that we're in, using faith, using creativity, kind of finding new ways and channels of engaging. We know that politicians and city authorities are always battling to try and find the answers to the, to the society, society's problems. But we know as creatives that when we create art, we see how people can connect. So thanks for listening. Jazakallah khair. I hope Muslim Fest goes well this year. Assalamu alaikum, Muhammad Ali in Birmingham, UK.